Okay, so boom. We was mad at Big T for being cool. Cool what russia has 70 percent of the forces need to invade ukraine and it's getting a little scary in the streets what P, but big okay so boom we was mad at big t for being cool with big bank p but big bank p just linked up with china and if i'm not mistaken big bank p is one of the richest men in the world and everybody in their mama owe china some money so we might have an issue but this is what happened big bank p was looking at ukraine and he like mm, i like that territory it's like real close to russia and i feel like it belongs to us so i'm finna come get it so he didn't move his military close to the border and he letting them know like i'm finna come get it like just letting y'all know right and so ukraine is like mm, we don't know what he's gonna do i've never been closer to video gaming myself in my pat like 10 years of covering the news until this very moment Like I, in my mind, I thought about doing like a, like a ritualistic, uh, video game, of course, in a video game, ritualistic style seppuku, where I uh, bring in someone else. Okay. With another katana. Okay. Where, uh, they stand behind me like this. Okay. With their, with their fucking katana in their hand. And then I personally use my shorter knife to to just stab myself in the abdomen and slowly but surely in a gruesome and very painful way move that knife from the left side to the right and to finally have the the uh, person behind me in the video game cut my fucking head off holy shit dude what is happening in this what is going on dude This is the worst thing that I've ever fucking seen in my entire life. I really, I would vote for Donald Trump if he ran on fucking abolishing TikTok. Straight up. If Donald Trump was like, we're banning TikTok, I'll vote for him. I don't give a fuck. I'm a single issue voter. Okay. I'm a single issue voter. And that single issue is banning TikTok. So they got their military out there teaching their citizens how to do Taibo just in case they got to defend themselves. But some of the citizens, they like, you know what? You know, Big Bang P, he is kind of crazy, but he ain't going to bust a grape. And if he do bust a grape, guess what? America going to come over and help us. But my whole thing is like, I don't know if y'all forgot what happened in that game. This is so incredibly frustrating that like, you have like a 30 year old woman like doing fucking zoomer speak to uh to to fucking appeal to like like doing zoomer speak agitprop dude what the fuck damn bro i think Hassan does hate black people it's dude bl black white it does not fucking matter who it is okay Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. Oh my fucking God. Understand? But we was over there for over 20 years. And it's like all the white people being like, yes, sis. Yes, sis. Yes, sis. Slay girl. Material girl. Materially supporting Ukraine with lethal aid, girl. Not Zoomer speak, but what she's saying is wrong. I mean, look, it's just not just Zoomer speak. It's like AAVE slash Zoomer speak. It's like Zoomer AAVE. Okay. But is her take wrong, though? Yes, it's like uh, fucking yes. and nobody understood the assignment so personally i just would not put all my eggs in the american basket I oh this literally seems like this is like what fucking uh, uh, like annoying white wine moms do on twitter like you know uh <laughs> when they when they are like in the fucking foreign policy blob but they're just like fucking they'll be like "Ooh, ukraine really understood the assignment
Wait a minute. She's a lawyer, though. Dude, who cares? There's like fucking people with uh, crazy fucking degrees. I have to pee really bad. There are people with crazy fucking degrees that uh, have, have dedicated their entire lives to fucking foreign policy and they're completely missing the mark. Okay? This is the explainer we needed. Literally where you're doing my world history class. Me watching you know what? Me watching you bet. Got it. Standing ovation. Slow clap. Thunderous applause. Going on. This is so fucking cringe. Okay, I'm gonna unpause and I'm gonna give this a second. I'm gonna give this a second shot. Okay, it is so maximally, it's so maximum cringe that it was hard for me to comprehend what was going on. Let's watch this one more time. Okay, I want to see what she's saying, and I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna move beyond. Like, the way she is uh, fucking putting, like, stringing along every single fucking, uh, like, beaten to death. Beaten to death fucking uh, terms and slang to see what she's saying. Okay, so boom. We was mad at Big T for being cool with Big Bang P, but Big Bang P just linked up with China. And if I'm not mistaken, Big Bang P is one of the richest men in the world and everybody in their mama owe China some money. So we might have an issue, but this will happen. Big Bang P was looking at Ukraine and he like, mm, I like that territory. It's like real close to Russia and I feel like it belongs to us. So I'm finna come get it. So he didn't move his military close to the border and he letting them know like, I'm finna come get it. Like, just letting y'all know, right? And so Ukraine is like- I mean, no, I don't agree with any of this so far. Uh, so she's wrong thus far. I didn't misunderstand it. She's saying that Donald Trump was friends with Putin and that, uh, that's the reason why we kind of hate Putin and that, uh, Vladimir Putin linked up with China and then moved his military to the fucking border of Ukraine to go and, uh, to go and take over Ukraine or to say, I'm going to go get Ukraine if I want to. I'm a big, bad military. It's like, mm, we don't know what he's going to do. So they got their military out there teaching their citizens how to do Taibo just in case they got... And, and that the Ukrainian uh, military is teaching citizens Taibo, you know, educating their citizens on how to properly defend themselves from the top of the hour ad break, which is coming at the top of every hour for 60 seconds. And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe and that you can subscribe for $5 or you can subscribe for free. And you don't even have to be a part of the fucking Nazi Azov battalion to be able to avoid the top of the hour ad break. You know what I mean? You can just do it as an average, regular, normie citizen, Right. He's at the top of the hour. There's a six second outbreak, no matter what's happening. Guys, calling Putin Big Bang P is Zoomer speak, not AAV, you dumbasses. Yeah, I know, I know. But like, it doesn't matter because we have a lot of fucking, one, we have a lot of sensitive people in this chat, a lot of sensitive white Zoomers in the chat. So automatically, if I fucking, you know, uh, criticize someone, uh, it, it, or if I even talk about like Zoomer slang or AAV, it's like, oh, I'm being racist. So I know I am hashtag misogynoir. I'm a bad person. I'm racist. I know. Uh, we, we already went through that. Okay. We already went through that. Um, yeah, one minute ad break is what you're going to go through now. Uh, unless subscribe, or if you get lucky, you can maybe avoid the ads by getting gifted a sub. Here's the one minute ad break now. Man, I love the ad breaks as a sub after being regularly subjected to them. Yeah. gotta defend themselves but some of the citizens they like you know what you know big baby he is kind of crazy but he ain't gonna bust a grape and if he do bust a okay this is the part where i do agree with her though i didn't get to this part yet in the in the other video when i paused it and was fucking you know i had my brain leaking out of my ear and my nose and my eyeballs but she's saying that some people in Ukraine don't actually think that Russia is going to invade. Great, guess what? America gonna come over here and help us. But my whole thing is like, I don't know if y'all forgot what happened in Afghanistan, but we was over there for over 20 years and nobody understood the assignment. So personally, I just would not put all my eggs in the American basket. I yeah, and she's saying that America uh, totally fucked up Afghanistan for 20 years and therefore it's uh, dumb for America to be involved in the situation. So she is right. Didn't get to that part in a 30 second TikTok? Yes. 
Because I didn't get to that part in a 30 second TikTok because I fucking paused too much. Shut up. I haven't seen the type of people that are American military employed and no disrespect, but y'all need to go to them continuation schools in the hood and go get you some real shooters. That's all I'm going to say. But anyway, so Biden didn't hop in, right? So Big Daddy Biden, he didn't hop into the mix and he like, look, P, stop playing with me. I know you're trying to be funny because America over here arguing about abortion rights and affirmative action during Black History Month, but I ain't got time for this right now. So if you pull up over there, you pull up over there, it's going to be some smoke and you're going to get sanctions. I'm sending you a whole receipt. Like you're going to have to pay this bill. And P is like, bruh, let me tell you something. By the look of the inflation in America and y'all homelessness problem y'all got over there, y'all need this money. So go ahead and send me the bill, bruh. I'll pay it in cash. And so at this point, it, it's out of our hands. Okay, so boom. We was okay, mad it, at it was actually low key, not as bad as I thought it was. In the beginning, I just heard like the fucking, you know, Big Bang P is trying to, you know, invade Ukraine or whatever, and I lost it. It's it's still cringe, but it's not as bad. Her analysis is not as bad as I thought it was. It's literally better than, and this is a low bar to fucking uh, get over, but it's better than MSNBC. It's still kind of, you know, nonsensical, but still better than fucking MSNBC. Even when you mention the, the Afghanistan, even when you mention Afghanistan, okay? Even when you mention Afghanistan, magically you are better overall than the majority of mainstream media which will never mention afghanistan and will never make that comparison so huh yeah because you never watch shit all the way before you start shitting on it oh shut the fuck up bitch i just watched it and i fucking uh, and i'm saying i was wrong like what do you want i'm in the process of saying i was wrong <laughs> Why did I click on a link from 39 poop sock? I'm such an idiot, dude. What? You heard the AAVE and dismissed her dot sit down. Fix your face. You didn't even give her two brain. Your brain two seconds before they hear what she's saying. You heard her voice and her body language and dismissed her. Bro. You shouldn't have timed her out for uh, 10 seconds or you shouldn't have timed her out for five minutes. That was a, that's a fucking perma clap. Okay. No, I didn't fucking hear the AAVE and dismiss her immediately. Okay. Abby Petalin. I heard what she was talking about Big Bang P and his interest in going into fucking war with Ukraine and saying, this is our territory, we're going to take it over and watching it be packaged in a Zoomer appropriate, uh, watching it be packaged in a fucking Zoomer adjacent AAVE uh, induced Don't look at the PFP. Wait, why? I did. That was not AV. That's what Zoomers think AV is. Yeah, it was fucking annoying. I mean, it's like, it's a character, by the way. It, it's not even like, that's not... You're making it seem like that's uh, that's like regular when it's not when it's complete when it's a, an exaggerated version. Okay, so weird. Yeah, guys, go ahead. I'm fucking racist. Okay, uh, yeah, you got me. It is performative. It's over exaggerated, and the deliberate reason for why it's over exaggerated in that regard is so that it's like so that it gets white people going. Yes, sis, slay, fucking slay. And I will fucking stand by that, okay? I'm sorry. And regardless of the AV, that wasn't the reason why I fucking uh, jumped on this, okay? This is not real AV, a white. It was AV, but it was obviously over-exaggerated to appeal to Zoomers. You are literally correct. Exactly. I don't know why fucking people make this seem like it's just... I mean, dude, you the TED Talk, it, it got across. Uh, the, the goal of it was to get fucking the TED Talk okay, account so to be like, yes, sis, you're fucking killing it, okay? And it worked. 
It worked. CNN, consider this an audition. This is the explainer we needed. Clap, 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 clap. Standing ovation, slow clap, thunderous applause. This is the best explainer on Ukraine ever. Like, white people literally fucking treat black people like they are uh, a, a cartoon, okay? It, they, I'm sorry. It's just the fucking truth. It is so insane that, like, white people literally look, even if they're fucking liberals, they look at black people like they're a totally different entity and go, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look, a black woman is doing uh, AAV Zoomer slang that's over-exaggerated. Preach, sis. Preach, sister, and that shit triggers the fuck out of me, okay? So when I fucking say that shit, you then turn around and you're so I excited to, like, you're so excited to jump down my fucking throat. It, I'm sorry, it's like, it, this is like, uh, this is no different than, you know, people, white wine moms fucking using Beyonce gifts on fucking Twitter energy, okay? It's just the truth. It's just another way. It is just another way of otherizing black people from a more tolerant, liberal point of view. <laughs> R slash next fucking level. Black person graduates from Harvard. <laughs> exactly. And it's like, I'm sorry, dude. I know, I know a lot of people fucking, I know like there's no context on the internet. And you've probably seen fucking enough videos of me, like, from other people on, uh, you know, black Twitter that is like, oh, it sounds fucking racist, fuck this guy. You white liberals, you, uh, you know, you white leftists, uh, you're getting too comfortable or whatever. So you've seen enough of that to, like, already have a bad opinion of me on race issues. But if you have, like, one fucking black friend, okay, just one, that's it. If you one have one black friend and you will recognize that this is just, you know, the way that people react to this, the way that liberals react to this is 100% like... It's, it's patronizing. It's, it's uh, weird. It's like, oh, it's great. Look at her. It, it almost feels like, it almost feels like a, like a, like a parent looking down at a child and being like, look, she did something. And it's really fucking weird. It's weird as fuck. Black people becoming exaggerated stereotypes for white audiences and tailors all this time. Yeah, it is condescending. It is condescending. That's a great take. That shit's always been really weird to me, but I couldn't articulate why before. Yeah, I mean, it is, that, that's what it is. When I see that, I'm like, that's fucking whack. It, it's whack. It just, like, triggers a part of my fucking brain that it, like, frustrates me. There are... Look, racism, white supremacy is so insidious, okay? It is so uh, significant a, uh, a part of the American experience, okay? That uh, it, it is... It, it, re it is reinforced in every facet of our lives, and it is reinforced in every fucking part of the ideological spectrum, okay? That's why there are entire fucking, uh, there are entire fucking media outlets dedicated and designed to, you know, make, uh, uh, they're dedicated and designed to make white liberals repeat Racist things about the violent black man, okay, that you would hear from literal white supremacists in the fucking 60s, but it's couched in academic language, and it's written by, you know, uh, 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 black liberals for the most part, that is packaged and designed to make other white liberals read that shit to feel exactly the same kind of fucking racist uh, uh, feelings validated, where it's like the black man is aggressive, and it's really nefarious, and it's really, I think, it's really fucked up. Anyway. Like, when you fucking always constantly and consistently hear about uh, a black men being so violent, but it's written by other uh, black people about, like, how black men, cishet black men are just as bad. They're the white men of, uh, of the uh, black population. Cishet black men are aggressive. They're violent. Cishet black men uh, uh, hate uh, queer uh, black men or, or, you know, queer black women. It's like, okay, dude. Like, wh what the fuck is this? Shut the fuck up, Asan. You have no idea what you're saying. 
My man's been listening to Champagne Sharks. No, but he does. He does talk about this stuff all the time. Yeah, that's true. He is very good at um, his his coverage on this is really important, bro. What are you talking about, Hassan? This is quite literally a fucking deep dive into black people's business that I normally don't fucking mention uh, because it, this is a mostly white audience. So it's there's no reason to talk about this. This is like intra black community uh, uh, conversations and arguments that uh, that you know. Yeah, no clip chips on this. Very dangerous, but very enlightening. Not sure would be able to articulate, make these points. Definitely not. What? You are making a lot of surprisingly awesome takes on the perception of black folks. It's only surprisingly, uh, it's only surprising to you if you have been fucking blinded by so many people on like, uh, so many people on, on black Twitter or on like all these other fucking liberal avenues saying that I'm a... You know, saying that I'm a fucking racist person. 